coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. This is way up in northern Manitoba. This is truly the pristine wilderness. You are bear hunting where the caribou are. I mean, that's how far north we are in Manitoba. Okay, uh, hold it in the middle. Uh, the left, your other left. To the right, just put it in the center. Uh, there. Hey, this week on The Archer's Choice, we're heading north, really far north, northeast pretty much. I mean, heading to northern Manitoba with Canadian subarctic ganglers with Ken. Yeah, I mean, way up. Now, you're talking like the North Seal River, Manitoba. The caribou. Almost it's like tundra. It's, 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 yeah, it's there's, subarctic. Yeah, it there's is subarctic hunting. Oh, wow. Get it? Yeah. You are so clever. So you're heading up, going some bear hunting. Yes. Would you, Josh and I are heading up there. Yep. Um, you know, and, and years ago, we gave this a crazy name. It was, we called them Manitoba Monsters. Yeah, because they're crazy bears up there. Well, when they're hungry, they're hungry, and they don't care if it's a human being or what. Right. They, they're, they're coming to get what they want. And, and I mean, it just, well, wait till you see this week's show. You know, this trip, well, I was so excited because Ken and I were talking and we were saying, you know, hey, you know what, let's get Vicky and RJ and I, let's come on up to, you know, to Ken Gangler's and let, let's get RJ, a, a, you know, a Manitoba monster. Well, everything was going good until the school called and said, hey, listen, we're going to do this special field trip. We'd like Vicky to go as chaperone and, and, well, yeah. So here's the deal. Vicky and RJ went south, south to Costa Rica. And I said, Josh... Ken still wants us up there. How about you and I go? So we headed north. You know, all of you know that we love when it comes to springtime and we could head up north for all of our bear hunting. One of our favorite spots is up again is Manitoba Monsters, Ken Gangler. And and I mean, what, what we experience there is just truly wilderness. And, and I mean, when you hit it right, the bears are just crazy. One of the things we've always, Vicky and I have always strived to do, and, and that's get our guys that work 24 seven with us and try to get them opportunity. And this is just, well, one of those times. I was hunting, if things worked out, we also got a tag for Josh, and well, Josh stepped from in back of the camera and went in front of the camera. And I'm gonna tell you something, he's a close tie to the big old emotional one. Well, we just, we just landed here at, at Gangler's. And uh, Dave's our guy, you know, we've been hunting up here a bunch of years and we never had Dave and we finally got Dave and Dave is known, known for his, his, his moose sausages with a little cheese and everything. So yeah, well, I wanted to bring something up and, and you know, because we got here and because this is way up north, one of the things we want to show you guys is you want to learn to pack properly. You can see this bag, it's 30 some pounds, it's got everything, my sleeping bag, the whole nine yards. But what else I do, because it's a water hunt, everything we have is packed in our waterproof bags. So you do all your clothes, all our hunting gear and everything, always go in these waterproof bags. Because a lot of times you get to certain areas and you gotta fly in, they may not allow you to take a big bag. So what we do is we always have our little bags, we put them all together and that goes on the plane. But here with Ken, because they're using, you know, they've got the otters, the beavers, they've got everything you sort of can take the bigger stuff. But that is, just so you see, you got all our bags, all packed, and you keep everything. Plus, you always have a pill. Well, here it is. The boat just came and dropped off a new motor. We are in camp with Big D. Yeah, Dave here. Crazy Dave. And, uh, well, we are pumped up. I'll tell you why. It's been a few years since we've been back at Ken Gangler's, and. It don't get much better than this. We got a truck loaded with popcorn. Our Northwood bear scent, we have anise, uh, we have the gold rush, and I think we have bear jelly. We have some bear bombs, and we're gonna go bomb the area and get these bears getting active. Not that they're not, because Dave said, man, they had, we had two clients this last week. They shot two bears, and no one sat those. I see a big one, big, big bear, and Josh is on his first bear hunt, so we'll see. I still think he's gonna cry. Now, if you guys remember about, it's probably at least 10 years, maybe 11, when we first introduced you guys to Ken Ganglers. 
This is way up in northern Manitoba. This is truly the pristine wilderness. You are bear hunting where the caribou are. <laughs> I mean, that's how far north we are in Manitoba. Now, the first year when we were up here, we realized this place is crazy. Manitoba Monsters doesn't even cover it. We first said that, and everybody copied that saying because of Manitoba Monster. The reality of it is, is this truly is the, the land of the Manitoba giant monster bear, black bears. But they're not just black, man. They're all colors. He, they got all kinds of bears here. And besides the phenomenal bear hunting, this is like a five-star fishing area. So even Josh and I can catch fish. Thirty-five, forty inches. <laughs> yeah, he might be. Yep. Again, my presentation was just on spot on. He's gonna see, yes, sir. Oh yeah. About the same. He's <laughs> forty-five inches. I learned from the best. Hey, I'm just, I'm just saying. Check out the lure my guide put on his rod and reel. Oh, let me see. It's a maps with a white buck tip. Yeah, he knows. He follows the king. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Another Johnny on the spot presentation, right in front of his nose, and it's a bigger fish. Not much bigger, but I'm probably going to go 46, maybe 50. <laughs> Better fish, huh? They had to rely on me to fill up the freezers and, well, shore lunches. Because, you know, when you got that Midas touch for fishing. Thank you, Uncle Spence. After a great day on the water, the boys have plenty of fish for dinner. With weather coming in, they head back to camp to eat a fine meal and prepare for the big day tomorrow. They're gonna hit it hard because big Manitoba monsters are on the move. Well, it's 12.22. We, uh, we baited these bears yesterday at 11. Let's say about 11 o'clock. By 12 o'clock, the sow and the big boar was in. And they, they meandered in and out the rest of the evening. So, Dave, we hurried up back to camp, got everything ready to rock and roll, and it's 12:23. Uh, we are heading back to sit that, set up the Ameristep ground blind, and see what happens. We're going to load it up again with scent and just may make this happen. You know, one of the things all of us are so fortunate to witness, and that's the different things that happen. For example, I had we had this one bear, and you could see that it was in bad shape, man. It wintered hard, you know, and it's and it's. I'm not going to say it was on its last leg. I mean, but the, the reality of it is, is this is nature, and and this is what we experience and witness. And to do that and to see it, really, really, you know, just gives us that much more to know, to understand, and to be thankful for. We've got bear number two in. He's a nice boy. You can see that he wintered hard, but we saw the bigger guy on the trail cameras. You know, the Northwoods could be really tough on the game. Well, Dave said we gotta get some shore lunch. So he came to the master of disaster, the one, the only. Mwah! And we're gonna try to catch some fish, walleyes or northern pike, because up here in the north, man, a pike is probably just as good as a walleye. I know people are gonna say, no way. Man, that cold is such a, such a, uh, yeah, I love them. We are back at camp. Are we having a shore lunch now? <laughs> yeah. This is Josh's first time ever having a fresh shore lunch. He don't know what he's got coming to him. We're gonna have something to eat, we're gonna rinse up, and then we're gonna head out to the stand, and we're not sure what stand we're gonna go to. 
Either it's going to be the north or the south. With a full belly, courtesy of moi, the boys head out to the blind for some hunting action. Well, we just got in our blind. And let's see, probably about between the last three and a half to four hours, we already had a bear in. The bear didn't look that big, but it was a gorgeous blonde cinnamon bear. A oh, beautiful bear. So we'll see what happens. So we got the wind blowing from the land off into the lake, so it's a good thing. Everything's in our favor. We're in our messed up ground blind. We're blacked out. We got our thermosil going. We are rocking because we are bearing down up here with Ken Ganglers. Ralph and Josh get comfortable for a long evening in the blind. Who knows? Tonight might be their lucky night. In the blind we're all set up and this time I'm behind the bow and not behind the camera and it puts a whole new perspective on things and I don't think I've ever been more nervous in my entire life. This is what it's all about. Here I am. I'm filming Josh. I, we, we know that things are just going to happen, and, and this beautiful bear comes in, a bear of color, and he's all excited. And I'm, I'm like, oh yeah. Just to recap what just happened, which is pretty amazing. We're up here at Ken Gangler's. Josh is filming me. And Josh has never, he's filmed bears, but he hasn't hunted them yet. Told you, I told you, I knew he was gonna cry. Right after the shot, I don't know if the wind picked up or what it was, but man, my eyes started watering like crazy. I must've got something in my right eye. So we wanted to surprise him and we got him a tag up here at Ken's and Ken was gracious enough to say, oh yeah, we gotta get him a bear. Well, lo and behold, we walked in on this bait, on this self bait, and Dave, we noticed right away it was hit. The barrel was down in the whole nine yards. And Josh goes, bear, it's him. And I already had my mind set up that, you know, if, if he came in, we'd maybe switch. So Josh is filming and I said, good thing is our blind's still standing. The bad thing is the barrel is too, because we stood that up afterwards, but we'll check because we had the bait all dispersed out and um, we got the camera and hopefully <laughs> they didn't eat the camera. It seems like these bears up here like blinds, chairs, the bait, you name it, if it's in their territory, they're crunching on it.
Baiting bears is hard work, and Ralph and Josh have no problem jumping in and giving a hand. As they're baiting their spot for the evening, they have an unexpected visitor. Folks, we're not tormenting that bear, but we, we, we're here to do the bait site and everything, and, and that particular bear wants to come in here, and our best thing to do is just let him know that we're, you know, we're not here to harm him. And you can see what we just did. I actually, he did, sort of confused him, staying on all fours. You saw what I did is I mimicked exactly what he was doing to me. Come on, go, go, go. And then I walked away. I was showing, I was showing him that I was subordinate. But then as he got closer, I came back and it made him stand offish. So we're just gonna do what we do. We're gonna give him what he needs. And you gotta remember, here at Ken Ganglers, a lot of these bears have never even seen a human. That's, that's why it's Manitoba Monsters, baby. We just got our ground line. We got another good wind. Since this morning, this bait was hit, but the good news is it didn't try to eat the blind. We went to check that other bait. We had a cinnamon on there, and that cinnamon just wanted the bait site. So Josh and I are ready to go. Last night, Josh shot a good bear. The bugs are bad. We need that thermosol to kick in. Once it kicks in, they're gone. Two things that have the guys optimistic for the evening sit is the visitor they had earlier and the big bears on their trail camera. Now all the bears have to do is show up. You know, even though you're at a bait site, you gotta remember we always, always have our binos. And I'll tell you why, because it's easier to judge them and really look at them. And I'm looking at this bear and I'm going, man, he's, he's, he, he, he looks. He's mature bear, big body structure, and you know, I'm trying to get a, get a better look, and I'm, I mean, you see his head, and I mean, I was like, oh, oh yeah. All the scars, every, this is what you go up to ganglers for, is one of those Manitoba monster bruisers of a bear. I think Vicky calls him a no-brainer. All of a sudden, I have this other bear come in, and a bit of a challenge going on, and that's pretty exciting when you're ground level and you're like less than 20 yards on these critters and they're starting to do their thing, man, that, that gets your heart going. You know, but then you realize right away that your first call was, oh yeah, he's the bear because the bear that was there earlier that we were really looking at heavy is all of a sudden telling you that he is the dominant boy. And I am gonna try to get a shot at him. What a hunt, huh? We got this guy on camera, um, and you could see he was had very distinct markings. He's been a brawler. He's all scarred up on his face, below his neck, up on his forehead. And we, we actually said, we're, you know, we're, we're trying to hunt a particular animal. We, had, we let a lot walk, and lo and behold, he finally gave us a shot. And we're up here at Ken Gangler's, man, Manitoba Monsters. They're crazy up here. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're looking for it, you gotta give Kenny a call. Bearing down, baby. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, I, I got to tell you that going up there mm -hmm. and, and having the experience and having bears that really, and I know you may have never, ever seen a human being. Right. It's kind of like when you go on one of those big can uh, caribou hunts up there. You know, I mean, you go up there and these are animals that, you know, never seen a human. No. And, and I mean, it's And just, they're curious. I mean, those bears, they don't care. No, they don't care. But here's the big thing, you know, going up to Ken's is, it's a variable because there's some springs we've been there and it's, right. it's been rough because ice is still on most of right, the lakes. Because you're so far, I mean, you're just like, what is it, 100 miles, 170 miles I, west of Churchill, Manitoba, where the polar bears roam. West or east? They're west. Okay, Churchill's on the, on the Hudson. I'll just check it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.